Good evening. I'm Dave Moreno with MCA Public Relations here at the St. Regis Hotel, Monday night of Semicon West Week. Here with me is Ed Kurczynski, founder and editor of Beta Sites, as well as technical editor of Semiconductor Manufacturing and Design Magazine. Hello. Ed, <laughs> hello, Ed. Hi, hello, David. <laughs> Ed was a moderator, is the moderator, of our Bright Spots 450 millimeter panel, of which the live event just concluded, and the online portion will be going for the next two weeks. So thank you for coming, Ed. Certainly, pleasure. It was a very good conversation. A great panel, a great set of panelists who all had very good opinions to share. We thought so as well. And in fact, Ed, as the moderator, since you had an opportunity to listen to a lot of the, uh, the observations of our panelists, mm -hmm. um, what comments stood out most in your mind from this evening's discussion? I was actually somewhat surprised at how unified the opinions were. It seemed that most people really see that it is going to happen, the 450 millimeter transition. It's certainly not happening anytime soon, but with the recent progress in bare wafer manufacturing tools, it looks like it is going to happen. Uh, maybe the only other point uh, that came up was it, there was some interesting discussion about the economics of 450 millimeter and the fact that some companies might use the transition as a way to gain competitive advantage over folks who can't make the transition. So uh, historically, the, uh, the 200 to 300 millimeter transition was, uh, was known that some of the DRAM manufacturers didn't go to 300 millimeter while their competitors did, and they were stuck with a very difficult cost structure for manufacturing, and many of them actually went out of business. So there's, uh, there is a, a real precedent for making the mistake of not doing the transition when you should. At the same time, there are other people who m tried to make the transition too soon. So there was quite a lot of, uh, there was a quite a lot of very good discussion about what is the right time for this transition. Now, Ed, I know that you've worked on uh, both sides of the uh, semiconductor industry camp. You've worked at Semiconductor Fabs, you've mm -hmm. worked at uh, equipment companies, so you yep. ha you're kind of in that unique uh, position of having the perspective of, of both sides. Mm. And given kind of the controversy surrounding 450 millimeter, like who's going to fund it, uh, is it going to be the chip makers, is it going to be the equipment suppliers, do you think there's an opportunity for consensus between the two parties to come together on the issue, and if so, what might that look like? Mm. I see the consensus slowly starting, though there's a lot of positioning still going on. Uh, there was a lot of, there was some discussion in the panel about the fact that up till now there's been really a lot of posturing on both sides. And the implication is that we're maybe past the posturing. That is, we, we know it's going to happen. We're not entirely sure about the details, but at least we've maybe been able to go past, get past the point of one side just saying no and the other side just saying yes. <clears throat> so perhaps now both sides can start to discuss and negotiate, and that also seems to be a good thing. Um, the, the bottom line is perhaps just referring to you know, my perspective of having once worked inside of a fab as well as also having worked for equipment companies uh, you know of, of course the bottom line is the fabs run this world uh, the equipment companies uh, in general are are you know extraordinarily active members of the ecosystem but they very much follow the direction of the major IDMs and the main fabs so that dynamic hasn't changed in the history of the industry and so certainly uh, from my perspective the ball is still in the court of the chip makers because uh, it's it's always been in their court because it's their court <laughs> right well thank you very much and we appreciate your insights and thank you again for participating on our uh, live panel and also for participating on our uh, online portion of our Bright Spots 450 millimeter forum. Certainly. Thanks a lot, David.